Welcome to another auto slide instructional video. In part one of this video, we're going to cover how to uh, add the Bluetooth upgrade to your pre-existing auto slide system. Uh, we'll first be covering how to replace the uh, current pre-existing board with your Bluetooth compatible board, uh, which will be sending you a new board in a case. So I'll be starting with uh, using either the Allen wrench we provide with the auto slide system or drill if you already have one with the correct bit. You're going to undo the four screws that hold the case to the frame. You're going to take out the old board and unplug the cables off to the side. Depending on which model you'll have, you'll have either three or two or three cables. Um, so you'll take the old board Put it aside after you've taken the screws out. So here's our old board. We're going to put it aside. We're going to take our new one that's got the Bluetooth compatible chip inside. You can tell it's got the compatible chip inside because the board will have a sticker inside of it saying ATM3.3. ATM 3.4B, B meaning Bluetooth. So we'll close that back up. And we're going to line up the metal shims on the track with the new case. We're gonna put the new case in. simple case of plug in your cables. So thickest starts at the bottom. Uh, next cable with a black wire and red wire goes right above it, or in this case, uh, below it. And then uh, if you have a locking cable, the locking cable will go at the highest uh, or the lowest um, plug in off to the side here, right next to lock. Welcome to part two of this instructional video on how to add your Bluetooth upgrade to your auto slide system. In the first video we covered how to replace the board with a new Bluetooth board and now we're going to cover how to program it. To start, before you even turn on the auto slide system, you need to go to your sixth toggle switch located on the bottom of your auto slide system and flip that on. On being pointing towards the door. Now, after you flip toggle switch six on, you're going to turn on the auto slide system using the red power switch located at the side of the system and the system will start to have a yellow light flashing here and a red light flashing here. Uh, you'll need to wait for the yellow light to finish as well as the door to close completely. So we'll wait for it to settle. Now we see the yellow light is still flashing. We're gonna wait for that to finish first. Excellent. Now that the white light is white, it means it's ready for repairing. So now what we need to do is we need to pop off the cover of the control board. To do so, you'll want to use an auto slide screwdriver or just really any small device. There's going to be three plastic tabs on the back of the control board, one to the left, one to the middle, and one to the right. Push them all in, one at a time, to pop off the face of this computer board cover. Take the front off. And now your Bluetooth pairing button is right here beside the white light we saw earlier. Now what you're going to do is you're going to open up your phone. You're going to download the AutoSlide Pro app and you're going to set up an account. Once you've got an account set up, you're going to see an add option over here. You're going to push, press the plus sign, pair device, and then pair device. You're also going to select the model. So this model is an auto slide system. Now you're going to follow the instructions on your phone. So you're going to press the pair button right next to the white button. K 
complete your setup after naming it. We'll name it test door. And then click complete setup. Press the sync button. So now you'll see a blue light is flashing and a percentage will show up in terms of how far the download is going to happen. Uh, while we wait, uh, so there is two versions of the app. There's the app, uh, app for Apple and there's the app for Android. Uh, the Android download will be included in the link, uh, whereas the Autoslide Pro app can be found on the Apple Store. So if you've got Apple, just go to the Apple Store. If you've got an Android, uh, follow the link we'll be leaving in the description. So now that our download is almost complete, we're going to wait for the system to uh, update the bootloader. So that'll happen shortly. Rebooting the system. There we go, the bootloader is being updated. You can tell due to the yellow flashing light. Excellent. Update has been completed. Press done. Now we can open up the door settings. And then if we go to door settings, pressing here, we're going to program the auto slide system using the app. To do so, simply go under learn open with and press door. This will put the system in learn mode where it will slowly open, slowly close, uh, go to a quarter open, and then finish in the closed position. Excellent. Now the auto slide system has learned your door width. So now you can go back to the main page for the door. And then uh, press inside sensor. And that will open up your door just as it was programmed. Now that we've programmed the standard opening distance for your auto slide system, we're going to do the same for pet mode. To do so, go back to settings, press door settings, then under learn open with, you're going to press pet, that's going to start the, opening dis the programming distance for pet mode. And if you'd like a shorter opening distance for your pet, all you need to do is press the pet button once more, once it reaches the distance you want it to open at the most. So we'll press it again. You'll put it back in the opposite direction towards a closed position. Once it's closed, it'll have remembered that distance for pet mode. So we're going to go back to door settings. 
press the paw print, and then test the distance by pressing pet. As you can see, the door is now opening to the pre-programmed distance we just did, and it will close. Now that we've programmed pet mode, we can program stacker mode. To do so, go back to settings, door settings, and then under the learn open width, you're going to this time press stacker. For stacker, we recommend programming the door to the full opening width. So we're going to let this system run its full course from opening to fully closed position. And there we go, stacker's been programmed. We're going to go ahead and test it. So go back, out, go back to settings, put the system in stacker, and it'll open up your door. You can also interrupt the opening by pressing the stacker sensor in the settings. So we've interrupted it, stopped it. Now I press it again to put it back in the opposite direction, and it will close. So now that we have programmed green mode, blue mode, and pet mode, your auto, stacker, and pet, we're going to go into some of the finer settings of the app. So I'm going to go into my settings menu and go into door settings. And in particular, we're going to talk about these three sliders right here. So opening force, it's a slider that sets how much power is given to the motor as the door opens. This is useful for if your door is heavy, or lightweight and it's useful if your door has a tight weather seal. If you have a tight weather seal on your door you're going to need a little bit of extra force to be able to open out of that weather seal. Closing force controls how much force is um, or how much power is given to the motor when the door is closing all the way. Uh, now this is particularly handy if your door is lightweight or extra heavy and you want to have this set where it has just enough power to close the door without being too strong. This way, the safety reversal feature is easily triggered if there is an obstacle or a pet or a person in the closing path. Your closing end force dictates the power going to the motor when the door is almost all the way closed, but has to go that final inch to go into the weather seal of your door fully. This can be turned down or turned up depending on how tight it is to fully close into that seal. So now we're going to cover the E key function of the app. It's one of its best features. So at the bottom here, you'll see this little key icon. We're going to tap on that. And that'll show uh, you as the owner E key, meaning that you have full privileges over the system and you have the ability to send out other E keys. And you can do that by pressing this button at the top corner here. And from there, you can select the person you'd like to send the E key to from a list of users, a list of contacts in your phone, or an email address. So I'll just enter in any email address here. And then you can select the different type of E key that you would like to send. Now that we've gone through the settings and setting up your autoslide system, you are now good to put the cover back on your autoslide system. To do so, you'll need to take your computer board cover Locate the two prongs on the bottom of the cover or on the top of the cover. And also match them up with the two prongs at the edges of the board. So simply place the prongs in first. Then click the three tabs on the top back in. Make sure it's fully clicked back into place. And then put back the cover of your autosight system. If there are any other questions or concerns, please feel free to contact us at info or support at autoslide.com.